Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello, my dear students. This is Mr. Hussein Ramadan with you from Riyadh Salihin Middle Schools. Today we are continuing our lessons in our new book this year, the Mega Goal One for the first secondary students. Today we are still in Unit One, Big Changes. Today we are having lesson four. Let's start. Open your students book on page eleven. Listen to the conversation to answer the questions below. Listening. Page 11. Eight. Conversation. Tell me about yourself. I was born here in Berlin, but my family is from Leipzig, in what was East Germany. They moved over to the West soon after the German reunification. How about you? I'm from Dubai, but my grandparents were from Germany. In fact, they were from Berlin. So I guess you still have family here. I'm afraid we lost touch with our relatives. And how long have you been here? I've been here for almost three years. You see, I have a German passport because of my grandparents, so I can work legally in this country. By the way, what do you do? I'm a biologist. I do research in a lab for a pharmaceutical company. Do you miss Dubai? Quite a bit, but I've got a good job. I've made lots of friends. I fit in okay. I'm happy here. Have you listened? Now let's discuss in some points related to this conversation. Real talk. Now we have some expressions that have a certain meaning to use through a context. In fact, you see, when can we use this expression? Meta نستطيع استخدام هذا التعبير? Yes. Expressions used to add information often surprising information. عندما تحب أن تضيف معلومات وخاصة إذا كانت معلومات مفاجئة للمستمع. By the way, بالمناسبة, expression used to introduce new topic. موضوع متعلق بنفس الموضوع. وهكذا. Fit in. To be part of. هو جزء من. Now, questions on your own book related to this conversation, I am going to answer it or to answer them with you. About conversation, pairs ask and answer the questions, then switch rules. Number one, where is Hans' family from? Yeah, from Leipzig, Germany. How long has his family been in the western part of Germany? His family has been in the western part of Germany since soon after the reunification. Number three, has Samir kept in touch with his relatives in Berlin? No, he hasn't. Number four, why is he allowed to work legally in Germany? لماذا يستطيع أن يعمل بشكل شرعي في ألمانيا؟ Because his grandparents were from Germany. أجداده من ألمانيا. Number five. Is he thinking of going back to his native country in the future? هل يفكر في العودة إلى موطنه الأصلي in the future في المستقبل؟ No. Why? He is happy in Germany. لأنه سعيد ببقائه أو إقامته هنا في ألمانيا. Now you will your turn to role play conversation like one above. دورك أن تقوم وتؤدي محادثة مثل السابقة تماما ولكن ضع في اعتبارك place of birth تتخيل مكان معين للمحادثة place of birth تاريخ ميلاد شخص معين where your parents and grandparents are where from أصل الجد والجدة الأجداد أصلهم if you still have relatives in those places لو ما زال لديك أقارب في هذا المكان الذي أتيت منه What are the languages your parents and grandparents speak or spoke اللغات الأخرى التي يتحدثها أجدادك أو كانوا يتحدثونها في الماضي The last one What your parents and grandparents do or did عمل الجد أو الجدة تتحدث وتستخدم هذه المعلومات to make a conversation like the one above Now go to page 12 It's listening Listen carefully to answer the questions Page 12. 9. Reading. The Polish Rip Van Winkle. Rip Van Winkle was a character in a short story by the American writer Washington Irving. In the story, Rip lived in a little town in the Hudson Valley in New York 
in the 1770s, around the time of the American Revolution. Rip went out hunting one day, took a nap under a tree, and fell asleep. He woke up 20 years later to find himself a citizen of a brand new country, the United States of America. Aïd al-Bloui, 80, who had been in a coma for five years, woke up and was able to identify members of his family. The 80-year-old had not regained consciousness after surgery to remove a tumor in his head. While still in a coma, he had undergone treatment for one and a half years at the Tabuk Armed Forces Hospital. His family did not expect him to wake up when he did. Doctors believed that the treatment had a positive effect on his condition and helped him wake up. An Egyptian man, who had been in a coma for almost seven months, woke up and named the person who had shot him in the head. The man had been taken to the hospital seven months ago with a serious head injury and had slipped into a coma almost immediately. When he woke up, he lived long enough to tell the police that a barber named Mohammed had shot him. The barber was arrested and charged with murder. Polish railway worker Jan Grzebski, 65, went into a coma after he was hit by a train in 1988. He woke up 19 years later, in April 2007, into a world that had transformed itself from a communist regime where food lines were common to a world of Big Macs and cell phones. When I went into a coma, there was only tea and vinegar in the shops, meat was rationed, and there were long lines of cars at gas stations. Now there are so many goods in the shops, it makes my head spin. What amazes me today is that all these people walk around with their cell phones and never stop complaining. I have nothing to complain about, said Grzebski. At the time of the accident, Grzebski's doctors didn't give him long to live, but they were wrong. He survived thanks to the devoted care of his wife, Gertruda. She refused to believe the doctors and moved her husband's body every hour to prevent bed sores. It was Gertruda that saved me, and I'll never forget it, said Grzebski. Now he's getting to know his family, which has grown considerably since his accident. His four children are all married and have provided him with 11 grandchildren. Have you listened? Now let's discuss in certain points related to the reading or the listening. After reading, show the meaning of each word as it's used in the reading in the context. Number one, regain in paragraph two. Does it mean A, to remember, B, to lose, C, to get something back, regain, Yes, Ta'id, to remember. Number two, treatment in paragraph two, according to the context, tibqa li siyaq al kalam. A, operation, B, bad behavior, C, medical producer, to care illness. That's right, the answer is C, ijra'at tibbiya min ajl ilaj marad muayyan. Three, effect, effect. The effect has different meanings. لها عدة معاني. But to the context, تبقى لسياق الكلام. Yes, C. Answer, رد أو إجابة. Four, transform in paragraph four. Charged by electricity. Moved quickly. Changed completely. Yeah, the answer is B. Moved quickly. Number five. Rationed in paragraph five. Does it mean what animal is it given in limited? Amounts, amount given to soldier, طبعاً ration هو عبارة عن amount given to soldier يعطى للجنود. Now, your rule to explain the following expressions in your own words. Regain consciousness in paragraph two. معناها يستعيد الوعي. Slip into a coma. Back again. Number three. Makes my head spin. Spin. دوار. After that, discussion. Read the stories on paragraph. Read the stories on page 12 again and find similarities and differences. تقوم بإعادة قراءة الموضوع في صفحة 12 وتوضح التشابه والاختلاف في قصة كل منهما أو كل من هؤلاء الأشخاص. Make notes in the chart below وتكمل 
الجدول التالي الذي يوضح التشابه والاختلاف في قصة كل من هؤلاء الأشخاص. Compare and pair then use your notes to reporting class. Now you have a table. أنت عندك جدول بتكمله كما يلي. That's a complete table. وهذا هو تكملة الجدول والأجزاء الناقصة توضح similarities the same نفس الأشياء التي حدثت للجميع و differences الاختلافات التي حدثت بينهم. After that, let's go to our workbook page one. Page one have paragraphs, have questions A, B, C, and so on. Now you are going to read the questions to answer them and to revise your answers through these answers. These are answers on to page one. Now practice C, answer the questions. Yeah, these are the answers as well. Now I wish you have good benefit from this video. Waiting for you for the next lesson, inshallah. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.